And we start with Call 7 investigator John Perugia with details on how the arrest went down. John? Well, and uh, investigators have been working around the clock. They've been running down leads from thousands of emails and calls, canvassing neighborhoods, taking DNA samples, looking for any clue that would lead to this killer. Well, late Tuesday, that break came with a phone call directly from the suspect now charged in Jessica's murder. Reports indicate that the 17-year-old told his mother something disturbing about the crime, and she told him he needed to turn himself in. His mother told the Associated Press her son called police, and at 7.45 Tuesday night, they came to the house, and he was arrested. The Westminster booking sheet makes it clear that Sig was cooperative with police and waived his rights. That means police could question him extensively about the murder and mutilation of 10-year-old Jessica Ridgway and the attempted abduction of a 22-year-old woman at Kettner Lake. Clearly, the victim, who was jogging in the park at the time of the attack, was key to getting the initial description. Police sources say her cooperation made her concerned she could have been a continuing target for Jessica's killer. Austin Sig's child home life may have been somewhat tumultuous. His mother, Mindy, was divorced in 2000 from Robert Sig Jr. Austin's father had been divorced at least two other times and has had a restraining order for domestic violence. Court records show Robert Sig also has a long criminal history dating back to the early 80s, including arrests for burglary, assault, obstructing a police officer, drunk driving, and drug sales. But we could find no criminal record for Austin Sig, and there is no indication he was ever a sex offender. That made it tough for investigators, even though they had matching DNA from both the Kettner Lake attack and the murder of Jessica. But sources say when local law enforcement tried to match the DNA to the national database, they found nothing. Now, it's unclear whether Sig knew Jessica or had seen her previously or whether it was a random attack or whether anyone knew about it or even helped in that abduction. That is one reason investigators want as much information as they can get about Sig's friends and associates and his whereabouts. And they're urging anyone with information about that to call the hotline. Yeah. In the newsroom, I'm John Ferrugia, 7 News.